Here is how you use StatCrunch to find confidence uh, intervals. You click on Stat. Okay. If it is in section 6.1, it's a Z interval. You click on Z Stat. We're doing only one sample with summary. So you might prefer you not just to use a calculator here, but you have to go through steps. And you enter the sample mean. Let's say the sample mean is uh, 67. The sample standard deviation, let's say it's 10. You enter the sample size, let's say it's uh, 45. And then uh, you enter the confidence level right here, guys, whatever the confidence level is and you hit compute. And let me show you where the interval is. This is your interval. This is the lower limit and that's the upper limit. Now, if you're doing a T interval, section 6.2, let me show you guys. You go, you see the language, the hint guys, it says T statistics. And you go one sample, with summary or with data, I'll show you the with data. You put the sample mean, let's say it's 67. Now we don't have population standard deviation, sample standard deviation, sample size, and then you choose the confidence level. You can change it. You can put 0 0.9 here, 90%, for example, and then compute. And here you go. It even writes down what you're doing, 90% confidence interval results. This is your lower bound, and this is your upper bound. And how's, how you do it for the proportion? You see where it says the proportion, guys, right here? One sample with summary. You need X and N, so number of successes. Let's say the one that we did with fatal accidents, we had 142 for X and we had 500 for N and we did 95%. There you go, compute. And that would be the interval guys. That's the interval. You change it to a percent. Now, if you have a data set, guys, just like the data we entered, let's say you have data right here. I'm just putting some data. And you need to find a T interval. You just go to stat, T, one sample. Now with data, not with summary, select with data. Select the variable that has the data and select the confidence level. You have to select it, otherwise it will not do it. Let's say it's 90%. Compute. All right. And here's your confidence interval, 15.3 to 19.9 when you have the data when you have the data set. And uh, before we wrap this up, guys, there's something that, let me 